Welcome to part two of the Secret Code Podcast's four-part tutorial series on the Secret Monero Bridge. In part one, we went ahead and we brought our XMR tokens across the bridge to get SXMR. Now in this video, we're going to be spending half of our SXMR to purchase CFI. We're going to liquidity provide CFI and Secret Monero, and we'll put those LP tokens, our receipts for it, in an earn contract to earn even more CFI. So that's called incentivized liquidity provision. You're going to need your Kepler Wallet Chrome extension with some secret for gas, as well as the SXMR token we got from the last video. So we're going to go to secretswap.io, connect our Kepler wallet, and we'll automatically be in the swap tab. And we're going to go ahead and uh, swap half of our secret Monero for C5, which we'll need a viewing key for. So I'm going to secretswap.io. In the top right, it says use secret swap. Now I already have it set to dark mode because I'm an adult, but you can fix that in the top right corner. And right next to that, uh, my, my wallet's already connected. You might have a purple box there that says connect Kepler. If you just click that, it'll happen automatically. But uh, yeah, I've got my uh, zero C5 shown because I went and made a viewing key. And now I'm going to spend half of my 0.24 secret Monero on C5. So I'm typing in 0.12. It's actually routing this transaction through Butcoin, which is kind of auto arbitraging for me which means I should actually get a little bit more CFI than I would have otherwise. So I made the purchase and we finished the first step. So next for liquidity providing, we're gonna go from the swap tab to the pool tab, type in our two input tokens, approve each, and then add liquidity to the pool. So swap and right next to it is pool. We kind of go left to right here and we'll work backwards in the next video. But C5 is one input, Secret Monero is the other. It doesn't matter which one's on top. They're both being inputted. And you click max on one of them, you have to do the max on whichever token you have a little bit less of. So when I click C5, it would have cost too much Secret Monero. So I did the other one and I'll have a bit of C5 left over in dust. And I'm approving each token and providing. Every single transaction is on the blockchain, cost Secret for guess. And that's part of why Secret's so valuable. And so now I go here in my Kepler and oh goodness, my secret Monero, my CFI is gone. What happened? And that's because we took those tokens, we put them in the pool and we're going to have a swap LP token for it. So after the pool tab, we go to the earn tab. We have to find our CFI SXMR pool, make our viewing keys to find our money again, and then deposit those LP tokens in the earn contract. So if you click these green things, they'll go away. And I'm scrolling down CFI SXMR currently earning 82% APR. And I'm gonna make a viewing key here by clicking the magnifying glass. And it went through, so let's scroll down. There we go, swap LP, we've got our money. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and put 100% of that money there in the earn contract. And, oh no, our money's gone again. So now we're going to have to look inside the earn contract and make, uh, it's called like a spy contract to, to kind of see your LP tokens inside there. And so now you can already see we've made a little bit of CFI rewards. That was fast. But if you scroll down, SPY, CFI, SXMR, that's where our LP tokens are in the earned contract. So you're earning these rewards. What are we going to do with them? Next, I'm going to show you guys how to claim your CFI, stake that CFI to earn even more rewards and voting power, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page here, scroll on down to our applicable pool, and let's claim this tiny, tiny amount of CFI we've got because, uh, I recommend doing it when you have more than, you know, 0, 0.00 something, but this is what you're going to do with it. So when you claimed it, you go to the top pool, which is CFI staking, do 100% and put it in there. And again, we'll have to make a viewing key to see inside this earn contract. But however much CFI you have staking is exactly how much voting power you have in the first ever private on-chain voting system for our DAO. And if you guys are sick and tired of making all of these viewing keys, you can go to this VK wizard. It's down right now while I'm making this video, but hopefully it'll be up again by the time you see it. It really saves a lot of time. You can click as many boxes as you want for whatever you're going to use and really just get all these viewing keys out of the way because we know it's a hassle. So thank you so much for watching part two of our tutorial series. Stick around for part three to figure out how to take those staked LP tokens back and get them set up to go across the bridge. And if you want to just see, oh, well, how do I go back to regular Monero? That will be part four. For the community, by the community.